Ledger Recover is an optional subscription for users who want a backup of their secret recovery phrase so they can restore access to their wallets whenever, wherever, even if they have lost or broken their Ledger Nano and don't have their recovery sheet with them. So, Ledger is on the fire. What happened? Are we supposed to be concerned? And what are the opportunities that may lie in situations like this? Most of all, what could be the possible outcomes of this? That's exactly what we will cover in this video. So basically, Ledger has a new service, a recovery service. And how it will work is your seed phrase will be split into three and kept with three custodians. Encrypted, of course. But as stated here, this will require identity verification. So the entire crypto community is baffled that this is even possible, but according to Ledger, all of the splitting will be done inside of the chip, so you should have nothing to be worried about. And also, it's a subscription service, so it's not updated by default. You have to subscribe for it. If you do not want it, you can just continue using your Ledger normally. So it's really just an added way to recover your seed phrase even if you lost it. More like a manual version of ERC4337. Account abstraction. We'll talk about that in my next YouTube video. Icon in by. So the entire crypto space is mad because, well, this was possible all along. I mean, some people are even mad because here in 2022, Ledger did say that your private keys never leave the secure element chip, which has never been hacked. So uh, it can now leave that chip. Now, am I particularly bothered about this? No, I am not because it is a subscription based service. And I think it's all with the right intentions. I mean, a lot of people have lost a lot of money in crypto because they lost their seed phrases and this might be an option for them. Of course, it does require the use of a third party, which goes against the foundation on which crypto is built. But I think this might be of help to some people. Your wallet does not have to be linked to your identity, which is where they actually go wrong with this. However, it does make me more bullish on zero knowledge proof cryptocurrency. People are about to realize that you need a way to prove that you are you without revealing your identity. This is something which I've talked about on this page a long time ago. Now, yesterday, I was also saying here in the Discord group that the fiasco with Ledger may be bullish for other wallets. Of course, I'm talking about possible investments and my picks here were Trust Wallet and uh, Coin98. I do expect them to move, but if they do not do so in like 48 hours, well, I will not be inclined that they will move off of this news anymore. In a nutshell, I think we are safe, at least for now. It's crypto. We are never really safe.